Holland is on lockdown again, so I'm trying different ways so I can still improve my climbing. One of the things that has really worked for me is Olavo's Kung Fu finger training to improve my finger strength. If you can't remember who Olavo is, that's the guy who did a 7A on his first day of climbing. His technique was terrible. The only reason he could do the 7A is because he was ridiculously strong. Apparently, Olavo had been training his fingers for over a decade. So for me, the Olavo Kung Fu training was very effective for my fingers. Uh, before the training, I could hang on a 20 millimeter edge with an extra 20 kilos. And four weeks later, after the training, I could easily hang on with 26 kilos. So that's, I think, a pretty big improvement for four weeks, especially if you look at the exercises, because they seem to be very simple. If you're a physiotherapist or you know anything about training, then please let me know why you think this was so effective for me, because going from 20 kilos to 26 kilos, I think is a pretty good improvement. My own theory is that I'm such a newbie to training that pretty much anything would have worked. It's almost like placebo gains. But who knows, maybe there's something to say for this Kung Fu wisdom. In Kung Fu, people have been conditioning their fingers for thousands of years. So, you know, maybe they do know what they're doing. So the exercises are very simple. It's stuff you can do at home with almost no equipment at all. The only thing you need is a bag that is filled with rice or beans and is like one and a half kilos in weight. Other than that, all you need to do are push-ups. So the first thing to do is to warm up your fingers a little bit and to warm up your wrists. Uh, once you've done that, then Olava told me to make a tiger fist. So make sure that your fingers are all pointed inwards and you're ready to latch on. And then you just grab the bag. This bag is filled with about one and a half kilos of rice. Uh, you can also use beans or sand. But what you do is you just switch hands really quickly and latch on with your fingers. Uh, maybe this is a way to train contact strength. I don't know. But this is the first exercise. You just do that like 20 times in total. Uh, then you do a similar exercise, but now you throw the bag and then you grab it with a wrist flick. So you flick your wrist, you throw the bag in the air, and then you grab it on the other side. You do this 10 times with the wrist flick to the left and 10 times flicking to the right. And then of course, switch to the other hand. After that, you do some push-ups, uh, warm up with some monkey push-ups where you uh, put the back of your wrist on the ground. After that, you do tiger hand push-ups. For the tiger hand, it's really important that you put the fingers down. So you create like a tiger claw and you try to distribute the weight all across all the fingers and you do the push-ups like that. Then there's leopard. In leopard, you curl the fingers all the way until they're flat. And then you use your thumb to support the index finger. And then you do the push-ups on the knuckles. After that, there's snake. Snake, you try to keep the fingers as straight as possible. Um, your wrist will only be off the ground a little bit for this one. And then in snake, you also do a couple of push-ups um, and then a few push-ups using mantis. And mantis is gonna be quite painful because you have to create this like diamond where all your fingers end up in the same position in the middle and then you do a couple of push-ups like that. So because you're not used to this, you should probably start at a very low intensity. Olavo recommended that I did five push-ups per hand style and that I did them on my knees. In fact, I had my weight on my knees and I only put a little bit of weight on my fingers and then I went back. So push-up really is the wrong word. You're just weighting the fingers a little bit and you're taking it away again. What surprises me is that doing this three times a week is apparently enough to get stronger fingers. Now I'm going to assume that with such a low volume and such a low intensity that it's unlikely that you will get injured, but still I'm no expert, so don't copy me. However, if you do give it a try, then please let me know what the results are. Again, it's a simple bag exercise where you just grab the bag in midair and then a couple of push-ups. It takes maybe five minutes in total, three times a week. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't seen the interview yet with Olavo, make sure you check it out. It's very interesting.